Hello, and welcome back to the channel and Vlogmas. Yesterday, I talked about being there for your deaf and disabled friends during the holidays. I talked about language, how learning sign language and, you know, having apps can be really beneficial. And I mentioned that in the next video, which is this one, I would give you all the apps that I personally know and which you, you might find helpful. If you're interested in these types of videos, be sure to subscribe if you have not so you don't miss out on any future ones just like this. And if you would like to support the work I do and get exclusive content that you won't see anywhere else, videos, writing, etc., please consider pledging on Patreon. It really helps a girl out. So I have five apps that I could currently think of and these are for both iPhone and or Android. Some of these are only on iPhone, some of these are only on Android, and some, while they might be just for iOS or just for Android, there's an equivalent that I will mention, or you might know an equivalent, so if you do, be sure to leave that in the comments. Although I use both iPhone and Android, depending on what it is I'm doing, I am way more experienced with Apple, uh, iOS, iPhone. So the first one is the ASL app. This is really good for basic ASL learning. It is deaf made, deaf owned, and you might see a couple of familiar faces if you are well versed in social media and the deaf world and you know like DTV News or you know Marley Matlin, Niall DeMarco. I'm pretty sure I have this on my phone. Uh, a couple of my friends, I think my boyfriend has it on his phone as well. You can get a couple of basic signs down whether you want to learn it ahead of time which I do highly recommend or you know if you need a refresher when you're at the table. That's always really helpful. I know that this is on iOS. I'm not sure if it is on Android if anyone knows please let me know. The second one, Google Live Transcribe, and I think that this is actually my favorite. I think that this is the best made app that's out there currently. Right now, as I'm filming this, it is only available on Android, so like my Samsung Note 8, it's available on Google phones, but I believe that they're making an iOS version of this, which I'm really, really happy about, so that means I don't have to be carrying around two phones because one phone has a SIM card, my iPhone is my daily driver, and my Note 8, I would have to have Wi-Fi, so that's the only downside. But this is absolutely amazing. I got to test it out in May, and I'll give you a more in-depth video of it in the future. And this is like real live captions happening right on your phone. It is automated, so it's not the best, you know. It is similar to Google's auto captions on YouTube, where you know, it's the computer that's doing it. But this is better. This is better than the captions on YouTube, in my opinion. Almost every single person that has used this app, it's worked for them. When I used it at MIT, perfect. There were a few people it couldn't understand because of deep accents, but, and I used it a couple months ago at my boyfriend's because he had family coming in from New Zealand. They had Android phones and Oh wow. And what's really cool is that now it has sound effects, so if people are coughing or if there's an alarm clock, I think, people are laughing, if a baby is crying, it'll have that in the lower left-hand corner. Sometimes the sound effects don't actually match up to what's being said, and if there are too many people talking at once, it will get overstimulated and, like, kind of shut down. But regardless, best app in my opinion, this is a winner. Honestly, if I didn't have everyone in my immediate surroundings, my dad and my boyfriend and his family, if the majority of them did not use iPhone, and if my signal here allowed me to use anything other than iPhone because iMessage is just easier, and texts take forever to go through, I would get a Google phone for this. I really would. Number three, Big. It's like the Notes app, which you could use if you wanted, but with Big, the text starts out, big and then it gets smaller. You've seen my friend James Rath use it with me when we're together doing collabs and just hanging out. I've talked about it in the past. I use it all the time when I'm going out to the airports, when I'm ordering food. My boyfriend uses it when we're talking and it's like we can't shout at each other because that would be awkward. Yeah, my boyfriend's family uses it with me. You can do voice on it so it'll be like a live transcription sort of thing or you can 
Also, Type Big is an iOS app, but there is an Android equivalent. I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is, but my boyfriend's aunt used it. I know Android has it. It does look a little bit different, but it's the same thing. Number four, and this is actually very similar to Big, but Def owned, and it's called Cardzilla. It's the same sort of concept, although I don't know off the top of my head if the text goes from big to small and the longer the message is, but the text is pretty decently sized. And from what Alex from the Daily Moth told me, you can save the cards so that like say if you go to a place very often like Starbucks for example and you get the same thing instead of writing out the same order over and over again, pull it up show it. And when you're talking with your deaf friend or family member and you're using Cardzilla and you want a new message to be written, if you shake it, the text goes away. I don't think you can shake big. I think when you shake big, it just starts flashing and um, that's not really good for anyone who's epileptic, so don't do that. Although you can't turn that setting off in big. I'm not sure if Cardzilla has an Android equivalent, but if you have the Android equivalent of big, then you probably might not need Cardzilla. But if anyone does happen to know if there is one, and the last app that I have in mind, number five, is Ava. Ava, myself personally, I haven't had very good luck with. Every time I pulled it up, it doesn't really work for me. So I will say from my own experience, I don't know if I can personally recommend it, if that makes sense. And now you might be going, well, then why are you mentioning it if you don't have good luck with it. I have friends who have good luck with it, so if it works for them, it might work for you. It might just be something with my connection and my phone that it doesn't want to work with me, but it works for plenty of other people and it does have generally good ratings, so I would give it a shot. But Ava is supposed to be a live transcription tool just kind of like Google Live Transcribe. So I guess Ava is supposed to be like the current Apple version of Google Live Transcribe. So if you can't get Google Live Transcribe yet because you don't have an Android and it's not available on the iOS system currently, try Ava out, it might work out for you. So those are all the apps that I have in mind. If you have any, please leave them down in the comments. Maybe I will get them myself. I'm always interested in what apps are out there. If you put any of these on your own phone, let me know. Let me know how they work out. I hope they do for you. If you would like to help translate this video, I have a translation link down below in the description box. Always extremely helpful. Give this video a thumbs up, a share. I think this, this is a really important, very useful video for everyone out there. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video and I will see you later. Bye.